Hello, this is a show about chickens. Hey, I'll teach your mother to dance like a chicken. Wait, is that a chicken? I'm not sure. Anyways, <laughs> this is Eva Trades, and today is June 6th. This is my trade review. I'm green on my day. Let's go take a look at the trades. Eva Trades. Is that a chicken? I'm really not sure. Uh, leave a comment below if you think it is or isn't. Uh, anyways, uh, 35.74 is my profit on the day. Small green day, but I took that money while I could get it. I was red to start my day. I was down almost at my max loss uh, before making about 200 bucks and getting back to green. And then I went down to red again and back to green. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the money and walk away. You can see I had the long lower wick here that because that was I was red and then I then I went up to like eighty five dollars and then I gave back a bunch. Um, so my road to a million dollars, this guy here, uh, July third is the date um, that is projected to be the finish date for when uh, I'll be done with phase three. Uh, yesterday we were looking at June sixteenth, but I realized there were some calculations that were wrong on my spreadsheet, so I got that fixed. So it's going to be a little while yet before I get to the end of this phase, unless I have some great big days, and that depends on the market. I hope that the market will give me that. We'll see. Let's take a look at the trades. Uh, I traded four stocks today. AI, I'll look at that first. That one popped up on the scan right here. It was breaking out at 647 and a higher, little higher price stock, you know, up in the $36 range. I bought it on this breakout a couple of times, sold it real quick. I didn't like the price action that I was seeing. It had a wide spread. And lucky for me, I only lost $2.15 because you can see that it dropped after. And that's always the risk you take of buying a breakout like that. Um, but oftentimes, more often than not, it will work for me. So that's why I do it. But I make sure I sell quick when I do do when I do do it. Do 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 do. Uh, FRZA was on the gap scanner this morning. I was watching it. It was my second pick of the day, and it had been selling off. But I thought maybe it might have some potential, but it didn't. It didn't really ever make any moves. I did buy off of this support down here for a small scalp and sold it real quick. Could have made a little more if I'd held it, but I didn't want to. And then I bought it down here. There really wasn't a support down there. Um, but I, I was buying with that support level down here in mind and then sold it very fast. So only up six fourteen, six dollars and fourteen cents on that ticker. And you can see the support level down here. You can see the five minute time frame. That was a five minute higher low um, that I bought off of. And here's the other one here on the five minute. There was, I think, a level there actually. If I were to put a line here, that's, um, let me, so we zoom in on that. You can see a consolidation and then a break over that. That's a legitimate level. And then if we go back and look, well, let's look at that in the one minute time frame here. Um, the, what was that? That was down here. Yeah. So that, that is the level that we pulled back to. I didn't even have that line there. I just jumped in at that spot. Um, so yeah, and you can see on the smaller time frame we had a higher low and higher high in the one minute. So that's legit. People were uh, playing off of that level, obviously. That's where it bounced. And so I finished six dollar. I finished up six dollars and fourteen cents on that one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. I was gonna say I thought I had the same thing on AI, but look at AI now taking off. Doesn't matter. Had the widespread. I didn't like that. Uh, okay. So then the next one, H O T H, was the leading gapper of the morning. Nice moves pre market. I was watching it and I was like really wanting to be able to trade it. I saw this pull back to the volume weighted average price right here. It's like beautiful bounce and then a break through the high, a little consolidation and continuation. It's like, wow, that's pretty cool. But then you saw this breakout and the failure and the, and the drop down. And it's like, I don't know, it's going to be one of those again. And sure enough, you know, we, we made some moves first thing, but then now we got all this wickiness happening. It's, it's breaking out, but it's failing. So I traded this right out of the gate as we started breaking out first thing. I jumped in it here. I jumped in it there. Um, and I'm looking for the move up to 383. So I'm in it here, in it here. It pulls back. I jump in it a third time. It stops me out 
on one of my orders, uh, this one up here. So my stop loss was here. So it stopped me out. I jump in it again, though. And if this had gone up, it didn't even have to get to 383. If it had just broken through 376, I would have been at my daily goal and I would have been done. But it didn't do that. Instead, it came down through here. It stopped me out. And I was down 170 something odd dollars at that point. So my max loss is 200. So I, I knew that I could take one more trade, but I couldn't take full risk um, because that would put me well below my max loss. I'm risking... $50 per trade. So I, I knew I only wanted to risk 25. So I got in down here on this support level, moved my stop loss up so that I was only risking $25. And we got a nice bounce. And I added to it right here. And then I waited for it to break through this high. And I sold everything right here for a nice $200, uh, more than $200 win. It put me up $50 on the stock. And then I started doing some stupid stuff. Yep, stupid stuff. I bought it, I bought it up here. And I honestly don't even remember doing that, but uh, this says that I bought it up there. And then I bought on a, I added to it here and I, and I got in here and whatever, um, sold it all. And I did buy a dip back here to this level and I sold it up there for some profit. And then I bought the breakout here looking for the breakthrough 430. We failed, came back down. It looks like I took a full stop on that. Probably lost 50 bucks on that one. Uh, we consolidated sideways, and then we pulled back. I bought it here at this support level. You can see that. And then it made a move up. I added to it on the breakout, looking for that break now through 430. <laughs> it didn't give it to me. It comes back down. It's bouncing around here. I take myself out of the trade for a small loss. Uh, we come down here to this support. So I'm buying off of that, selling for a small profit, getting back in again, Adding as we come down to this support level and selling up into here. Here I'm buying a breakout, selling up there. And so I'm pretty close. I think I was pretty close to green on the stock once again at this point after giving back, you know, uh, quite a bit of profit through here. And then as we started to break out through here, that's when I jumped in it. And I'm like, OK, I'll take one more shot at this. This was a green candle moving up and I thought we were going to go and it didn't. As soon as I got in it, it drops. I take the loss down 102 on the stock. So my big loser of the day, HOTH was just not an easy one to trade. Uh, once we got past this first initial move, it just became really choppy. So, and then it's since sold off and it is coming down to a support down here. So there's a possibility that we bounce off of 339. That'd be a good trade opportunity have a low of day of 342 here also. So there's there there are uh, still some potential there. Uh, my big winner on the day was SOXL. This is the last stock that I have to show. Um, this one popped up on the high of day momentum scanner. I wasn't watching it pre-market, uh, but this one often does. Either this one or the inverse of this one, which is SOXS. It just depends on which way the market's moving on the day. So I pull it up, we're breaking out, I'm buying it off of this support here and here, and I'm selling it as we break through that resistance. And those levels are from the five minute time frame here. You can see we have this level here and this level here. So, so then we consolidate, we pull back. This would have been a great entry. I missed that. I actually didn't even have this line drawn at the time. And we start to break out here. So I jump back in it twice. I sell half of it just to be protective because I know we're coming up to a resistance. Um, and then as we break through right here, 21.21, I'm selling it. And I'm up 134.15 on SOXL. So overall, this puts me at $35 um, on my day. So that's it. That's my trade review. Um, it's been kind of a, I felt a little bit shaken up today. And I knew um, going into the, to the day by looking at the stocks pre-market, we only had HOTH that had made any kind of serious moves. The uh, SPY was going sideways, and let's see what SPY is doing now. So it's actually making a nice comeback move, it looks like. Um, what's the hourly look like on this? 
Uh, but we could be we could be seeing a bear flag. Looks like we broke the low of yesterday, but the bulls bought the dip. That's that's kind of encouraging. So we didn't stay down below there for very long. That's a little bit bullish. So we'll see if we get a bounce today on the market. But um, yeah, I could tell that it wasn't the kind of day where I was going to want to try to be a hero and and go and try to make a bunch of money. So um, luckily, lucky for me, SOXL came up and I was able to get back to green. Well, I hope your day has been great. It's uh, Tuesday is in the books for me. I'll see you back here tomorrow morning on Wednesday for another exciting, fun-filled adventure with day trading with Josh here at Eva Trades. You take care of yourselves. And uh, I'm going to go figure out if that's a chicken or a rooster. I think it's a rooster. Bye, guys.